Hey there, good evening. It is a little after 5 p.m. Getting a late start here. This is the same day that I filmed the other video earlier this morning. Took a break for the afternoon. Now getting out to uh, show a bit more of this lovely but very, very popular, as you can see, Paradise Island. People hiking up to the viewpoint to watch the sunset. Can I even get through? Maybe I'm trapped. Oh no. Got a uh, orange mango juice here. Amazingly delicious combination. So there is another viewpoint, a little bit higher, but uh, been there before, just wanted to show the view and then uh, go show more of the island. See what I can before the sun sets in about an hour. All right, back down at the bottom of the hill. My hotel is that way. We're going this way, the same way that I went the last time. Here's a little map. I showed the bays already, Low Dalum and Tonsai bays and beaches. But going to go a different way once I get uh, through the town here. So what you got? So here we are in the center of town. That was my dinner last night. Pizza, 90 baht per slice. A little less than three bucks. Very large slices at least. Certainly not uh, super cheap. You can of course get a real local pad thai for probably around that same price or even less out of the uh, tourist areas, but uh, still, all considering it is very reasonable for being in such an amazing, beautiful, unique place in the world. So in a couple of my previous videos, then I mentioned that Koh Phi Phi was my favorite island of Thailand. So I thought that I would kind of talk about that a little bit. Now, I don't really like having to identify like my favorite country, favorite island of Greece or Thailand or whatever, because I don't want to get stuck with any one of them anyways. I like the variety, but uh, Koh Phi Phi, I think is the most beautiful of the Thai islands that I've seen. Now, there is of course the issue of, wow, we got some fish. There is the issue that definitely changes the equation, which is the overcrowded, over touristy, young party crowd as you're seeing right now. So that definitely dings it a bit. Okay, that's gonna go up the hill it looks like, trying to uh, get out of here in a different way from the other time. I'm not headed for the bays, I'm headed towards a beach in a completely different direction to show you something different from the last video. Going to get out of town a bit more and go to one of the more remote beaches that's a little bit of a hike through the jungle, but not too far, not to the other side of the island. Maybe I will do that tomorrow when I have another day. So uh, whether or not PP is necessarily absolutely for certain the best island in Thailand or not is certainly subjective, open to opinion. I'll have a little better idea after this uh, second visit of mine here. So the last time was in 2007 and I came in October which is before the high season, so I don't remember it being quite as crowded at that time, so that might have been a little bit of a factor is that I didn't really remember the uh, throngs of tourists. 
So there you can see the Andaman Sea, Tan Sai Bay. Let's take a quick look. That is a lovely sight. Out there is where I ended the last video on that pier where you catch the boats or arrive. There you can see the left wing of the island and the isthmus here connecting the two wings and then out here is the larger section with the really amazing hiking. So now I'm going to walk along there and try to get over to that other beach before the sunset. I forget exactly how much of a hike it is. I think that we will leave behind a lot of the crowds in the process, but first we have to get through the tourist row. This long, long line of shops and restaurants. Quite a selection of dishes here. Lots of seafood. Mussels, oysters, lobster, crabs, fish with lemon sauce, crabs, curry, more lobster, prawns, spring rolls, papaya salad, various veggie dishes, stir-fried malindio leaves with eggs, chicken breast, spaghetti bolognese, various western options here. Hippies, bar and restaurant. And here we have the PP Andaman Beach Resort. I'm guessing rooms are more than 50 bucks. Great view from the restaurant, nice. And then I think right up ahead is where we will sort of leave the uh, beach behind. And start the hike through the jungle. Maybe go along there first and then get into the trees, something like that. So once you get away from the crazy crowds, then you start to get a better feel for the really exquisite beauty and peacefulness of this island outside of the main town area. This is obviously a resort. Looks like this is Long Beach here. Getting less crowded, but uh, we still have a little ways to go to a much nicer beach. Cool. Okay. Is like just fine. A nice walk yeah. through the jungle. Cool. Thank you. Up here, going into the forest. Yep. So I guess Long Beach is actually the one that I'm hiking to, not this one right here. 
Long Beach and to Viking must be a restaurant or resort. Amazing trees. And something happened here, maybe a big storm. Viking Resort. And Long Beach. So here we have a map of the island, P.P. Don Island. There's the town, the viewpoint where I started the video, Lodalum Bay, Tonsai Bay. I walked like this along here, it looks like we might be right there, I guess, at the Viking Nature Resort, and then you can see this side here, notice it doesn't show trails here. Whereas here you have hiking trails. I forget if I went all the way there last time, but uh, that looks like a pretty amazing hike. Maybe that will be for the next video. And then here you have Pipile Island, so Ko means island in Thai, except that that isn't actually exactly accurate. It's a mispronunciation. It's more like Got, something like that. So this is where Maya Bay is, where the movie The Beach was filmed. It is further away than it looks right there, but you can take a boat over there. No hotels or restaurants there. Long Beach, 15 minutes, so still a little ways. And look at these massive rooms. I guess part of the Viking Nature Resort. Long Beach, this way. Lo Mu Di. Oh, and viewpoint. I wonder if that's the same viewpoint that you can get to a different way. The mosquitoes are coming out, man. And I do not have mosquito repellent. I need to get some. I do have after bite lotion. After you get bit, then you rub this stuff on. It helps a lot to take the annoying itch and pain away, but uh, better to prevent it in the first place. Okay, here we are already at a really nice beach. And this might be the one that I was thinking of anyways. Maybe Long Beach is a little bit further of a hike, but this is quite a sight. Okay, I guess that that is Kopi P. Lay. So I guess it is quite close. I hadn't quite realized it was just right there. So I checked my phone and this is in fact Long Beach. It was only five minutes or less from where it said 15 minutes. I was shooting for here because I knew that there were some restaurants here and thought that it would be a good place to stop and have dinner in a little while after a swim. Definitely jumping in that water, looking so calm and crystal clear. The sand so white and soft and cozy.
we got some sort of big things in the water, like a pipe part, something like that. I'm not going to take my uh, camera underwater, so not going to see the clarity, but uh, it looks super, super clear. No garbage. Ultimate. And so I'm back in town. I decided to do the hike through the mosquito-infested jungle while there was still a little bit of light left and also just to uh, get the hike out of the way so I can relax. And have a much shorter walk back to my room later. So looking for a good place to take a seat for a while. Also, speaking of mosquitoes, Finally got some mosquito repellent. Hello. Yeah, I think I'll go for it. Uh, nice looking menu. Just one person. Okay. Anywhere's okay, yeah. Thanks. Very colorful. They need some business, man. Why is it uh, so empty? Maybe I'll be the start of the snowball rolling down the hill. Get some more business coming in. Okay. Thank you. So definitely not an authentic uh, Thai place, but uh, the plan is to get to work on this video right here. Looks like a good place for it. Okay, the question is, do they have uh, beer? If not, I'm sure they do, but uh, if it was like a Muslim place or something like that, then maybe they wouldn't. Boom, all right, I'm sold. <laughs> 